because I'm sitting on the end of the bar, you know, like, just sitting there, and I see this lady coming at me with this look, and everyone just kind of, like, steps aside for her, you know, like the Red Sea or whatever, just clear the path, and I'm like, what's with this nut job? You don't even know this woman. Never seen her before in my life. And I'm sitting there with Rima. Do you remember Rima? No. No, she's my friend. And so I'm sitting there with Rima, and suddenly this lady's like up in my face. And she's like sweaty and yelling and really pissed. Why? I don't even know at this point. And so she's like all yelling, and her breath is really like, like, boozy? Yeah, boozy, except worse, you know, like there's something rancid stuff oh, that come out. Fuck. Rotting peanut butter or whatever. Oh, good Lord, Izzy. And so she's like yelling and blowing her stank breath on me and, and cussing. Oh my god. You would not believe the words that were coming out of this lady's mouth. But you don't even know who she's talking about. So she's talking about a boyfriend. I know, but... Augie. Oh, I thought you said you didn't know. No, no, no. I didn't know who she was talking about at the time. But then I figured it out. Oh, that must be Augie's girlfriend. So, like, I, I didn't know it, but let me get that. So you do. Right. Okay. So she's all like, fuck you, you bitch! Uh, fuck you, easy. Sorry. Fuck you, you baby! And all that. Just like yelling like a maniac. For sure. And I'm starting to feel self-conscious because people are starting to look at us. Sure. And I can't even get around her, you know, because the place is so crowded. And she's a big lady. Like, for real hefty. Like, more chins than a... a God, what's that saying that mom always used to say? More chins than a Chinese phone book. Exactly. And I'm like starting to feel violated, you know? Mm -hmm, sure. Like my personal space <laughs> and my dignity. Mm -hmm. So I just like hauled off, made a fist, and boom! What does that supposed to mean? It means I hit her. Oh my god, Izzy. <laughs> you, you hit her? Crazy, right? Oh my god, you. You hit that woman? Oh, she was like yelling at me. She was screaming like a retard. Oh my god. What? She was like up in my face. I, uh, and you know what they don't tell you? It hurts to punch someone. It freaking hurts. Well, yeah. In the movies, it's all like, well, no, that ought to show them. But for me, it was motherfucker that killed. Look at my knuckles. What? Nothing. You don't approve? I didn't say that. That lady was at me. I know. I didn't say anything. But you wanna though. I just worry about you, Izzy. Don't worry about me. She was the one on the floor. And that's that's not what I meant. You were in a bar fight. So? You were in a bar fighting. The lady was yelling at me. I know, but it's so... What? Jerry Springer. What's that supposed to mean? You think I'm trashy? You punched a woman in the face. She <laughs> provoked me. I, I thought you were getting it together. God, don't judge me, Becca. I thought, I thought you were just going to do less of this now. Man, why are you... Oh, you know, I, you're not a kid anymore, Izzy. You can't keep doing stuff like this. Didn't realize there was a cutoff date. Well, there should be. <laughs> for acting like a jackass, there should be a cutoff. Were you on anything? Oh my god! Were you? Man, no! Becca! Why did I even tell you? I don't know, why did you? Look, I went out. I got into a fight. I thought it was funny. I thought you would be amused to not. Clearly. It's just... I thought that you were gonna get it together and do less of... this. You promised. I'm still coping too, Becca. I know it's not the same, but it's still hard, okay? Don't, don't do that. What? Give me a break. What? I'm not allowed to be upset anymore? You're not allowed to use him. What are, are you? Excuse. I'm not. You are not allowed to use him to justify your own shit. Just don't do that, please. That's not what I was doing. Okay. I'm hungry. Mind if I get something? Since when do you ask? You're making me feel sensitive. <laughs> Where's Howie? 
He's playing squash with Rick. <laughs> squash. Hey, what is this in here? Uh, it's going to be crumb caramel. Now he's a lucky man. You won't see me making anyone crumb caramel. If you're hungry, Isabel, just grab something. Don't stand there with the door open. There's an extra one in here. Can I have it? Yeah, sure. I won't eat it if you don't want me to. No, you're right. There's an extra. Are you sure? I just... Let me finish it. I can eat it like that. No, then it's just custard. I like custard. I didn't make custard. I made crumb caramel. So how is work? Don't ask me that. Why not? He got fired. Never ends with me, does it? Not often, no. Don't tell mom. How do you get fired from Applebee's? <laughs> It was all politics. I want to get into it. Thank you. I like how it oozes. Of course you do. <laughs> so good. Better than custard, isn't it? Yes. You were right. Again. And again. And again, and again. <laughs> Look, Becca, I wasn't trying to use him. I'm just saying it's been hard to pull it together. For all of us. Can you please? And I was not even drinking when I hit that woman. Stone sober. Yeah, right. I was just drinking soda that night. Is she gonna press charges, you think? Eh, I'll be killer. She moved out anyway, went to her cousin's or something. What are you talking about? She moved. Out of Augie's place. They're not together anymore. I thought you said you didn't know these people. Augie, I do. The girlfriend, I only heard about. What did, what did you do? What do you mean? To that woman, what did you do to her? I told you, I hit her before that. Never seen her before in my life. People don't scream in your face for no reason. <laughs> sure they do. You should get out more. Were you sleeping with him, this Augie guy, whatever his name is? <laughs> you were sleeping with him, weren't you? Where are you going with this? <laughs> Jesus, Gaze. Yeah. You tell this story like you're some sort of innocent bystander. You were sleeping with her boyfriend. That is so beside the point. It is? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Things were over between them for a long time. They were just living together because of the rent situation. She didn't care what he did. And then why would she accost you in a crowded bar? Because she's a lunatic. <laughs> and Augie told her I was pregnant. Why <gasps> would he? I know, right? You are not. Oh my god. We're gonna like him back. He's a good guy. He's a musician. Mm. Mm. That's terrific. No, I'm not like you think. He works. He's a working musician. Is that why you're here? To tell me you're pregnant? Pretty much. Oh, I knew something was up. You were not one to pop by on a Saturday. I pop by? How long have you known? Weeks. And you're just telling me now? I mean, Jesus, what? Jesus, well, did you not want to tell me? No. Why? Why do you think? God, everything's so fucked up. Does, does mom know? Yeah. Oh my god, you told mom before you told me? Well, I had to. <sighs> Oh my god, Izzy! Would you stop saying that? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm gonna keep it if that's what you're asking. Augie oh, wants to too. We're really excited about this. This is exactly the sort of thing that gives a person clarity. <laughs> Look, I... I know this is hard for a bunch of reasons, but can I just say, I. I don't need any advice right now, or any 
lessons or lectures or whatever it is that you're concocting in your head right now. I just need you to be happy for me, okay? Even if you don't feel that way, I'd like you to pretend that you do, okay? Of course I'm happy for you, Is I was just taken aback. If you think a baby is going to fulfill you or give you clarity or whatever, then obviously it's a wonderful thing. Of course, I am happy for you. Give me more credit against Jeeves. Thank you, Paul. I should probably hold off on this then. What? Well, I was uh, washing all these clothes to give them to Goodwill, but I mean, might as well save them if you're having a boy. No, I mean, they're in baby clothes for so long, it'd be a while before I could even fit in those. It comes up way faster than you think it is. Well, I mean, we don't really have room to store it. it I'll just keep them in the basement, it's no big deal. You know, a couple years worth of free clothes here. What if it's a girl? And I'll take it down to Goodwill. What's the big deal? I mean, you're going to thank me. Think of all the money that you're going to save. It's not about the money. It should be. Is You need to start thinking about stuff like that, especially if the dad's a musician. Mm -hmm. It costs a lot to raise a child. It'd be weird to see him running around in Danny's clothes. I feel weird. You would too, I think. I'm sorry. No, I'm. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, I really appreciate what you're trying to do, but I, no, I mean, you'll get plenty of clothes anyways for Christmas and birthdays. You don't have to worry. No, about I know, it. but it I, would be one thing if they were hand me downs. But exactly. It's probably a girl, anyways. You think? I'm definitely getting a girl vibe. I'm a little psychic. Oh, yeah? Yeah, remember I said Debbie was having a girl? You did. And Karen? Yeah, Karen too, I remember. I think there's a girl in there. I mean, I hope so. That's what I want, but I mean, so long as it's healthy either way, I'm happy. But if I had to choose, I'd want it to be a girl. Me too. What did Mom say? She was happy. <laughs> really? I thought she'd lay into me, but... Huh. Thanks for the crumb caramel. You're welcome. Look, I know this is hard. I'm really sorry. The timing really sucks. Hey, what can you do? I'm glad you told me. And I really am happy for you. 